What is it with Prince Harry's gripes with his family over their dislike of his former actress wife, Meghan Markle? Oh, wait, it was Meghan who said that a royal in-laws typecast her. During the Netflix docuseries, Meghan claims that the royal family typecast her because she's an American and an actress. First off, no, the royals didn't typecast her because of her career choice. They never judged Cressida Bonas, who's an actress, and they give zero Fs about Sophie Winkleman, who's the wife of Lord Frederick Windsor, being an actress. Sophie said multiple times that the family were very welcoming towards her and have never judged her career. The royals have never discriminated against anyone because of their ethnicity. For instance, King Charles had a black female courtier who worked for him for over a decade. The Queen had a black equerry who came to the public's attention during William and Catherine's wedding. There is a reason Meghan never fit in as a royal. She didn't want to put in the work as she thought being a royal meant being popular, going to cocktail parties and movie premieres. Oh, and the really big thing, having a fancy title. If the royals wanted to throw Meghan into the American actress typecast, they would have done the same with Sophie Winkleman by branding her as a British actress. Writing in Spare, Harry opens up about Cressida Bonus's help breaking down his emotional barriers and how after dating from 2012 to 2014, the couple ultimately broke up amicably. She was the first person to help me across that barrier to help me unleash the tears, Harry explained of Cressida helping him to cry for the first time since his mother's burial. Going on to open up about the breakup, Harry continued, That was the reason why, when we got home from Kazakhstan, I felt so miserable because at some point during that ski trip, I'd realised that we weren't going to work. I just knew, I think she knew as well, there was a massive affection there. Deep and abiding loyalty, but not love everlasting. She was always clear about not wanting to take on the stresses of being a royal, and I was never sure I wanted to ask her to do so. And this unalterable fact, though it's been lurking in the background for some time, became undeniable. Suddenly it was clear that this can't work. He continued, The day after we got home from Kazakhstan, I phoned a mate who was also close with Cress. I told him about my feelings and asked for advice. Without hesitation, he told me, If it's done, it's done. And you need to get over it quickly. So I drove straight over to see Cress, she was staying with a friend. Her bedroom was on the ground floor, windows looking onto the street. I heard cars and people going by as I sat gingerly on the bed and told her how I felt. She nodded. None of it seemed to surprise her, really. These things had been on her mind as well. I've learned so much from you, Cress. She nodded. She looked at the floor, tears running down her cheeks. Damn, I thought. She helped me cry and now I'm leaving her in tears. While sad, the couple's breakup was clearly amicable, with the two remaining friends. In fact, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle even invited Cressida to their 2018 wedding. 